right, I got um, a new toy from MyRCMart.com. This is, uh, my goodness, what's the name of it? Uh, I guess they call it the Mini Pet. Um, I think it's V977 or something like that. Um, it's actually, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with this little guy because of a few things. Um, one, it comes with this little transmitter here. And it actually has proper gimbals on there. And it's actually quite nice. I've tried other, I guess you could say, inexpensive, uh, ready-to-fly quadcopters. And uh, the transmitters are not always all that great. But this one is actually not bad at all. The uh, cyclic stick on the right here is actually quite soft and it's got a pretty decent feel to it since it's, it's a proper gimbal as you can see there and then the same with the rudder and throttle it's got the proper gimbal on there with a bit of a ratchet you feel a little bit of a ratchet but really it's very soft right and then it's got the rudder like that it's quite nice uh, so while I'm at it, let's talk about the transmitter a little bit. Uh, the transmitter, you got your trims on there, of course, um, right here below the cyclic stick. You got your aileron trim over here. Uh, you got your uh, elevator trim here. You got your throttle trim, and then down here you got your rudder trims. And then we've got a couple more buttons on there here. Uh, let me see if I can focus on that. There you go, we got beginner or advanced. Beginner is basically six axis mode. I believe this little guy's gonna it's got a gyro and an accelerometer on it. So you know there's advantages to this where it's going to be super stable for one. And also um it will not flip on you when you're on beginner mode. So you can fly it as aggressively as you want. It will not, you know, do a loop and flip on you. Which is uh, it's quite nice, I find, for flying, flying at night. Uh, since this guy actually got some LED lights on it, you can fly it at night. Um, and then at the bottom here, we've got uh, mode 2 and mode 4, it says on there. Uh, there's a mistake on the label, though. Uh, mode 4 is actually mode 2, and mode 2 is actually mode 4. So it's reversed, but that's okay. Uh, essentially all I needed is something mode 2 myself and I'm quite happy that it's working in mode 2 when the switch is in, in the mode 4 position but uh, there are two modes available though uh, it does change them out there so for someone who's used to fly mode 4 it's available and then mode 2 is also available and then of course if you flip this switch here to advance then this quadcopter will do flips we'll be doing uh, 3D moves like our rolls, back flips and front front flips. And I've tried it. It's actually quite easy to do. It's got a auto flip function where it'll basically do a full rotation um once you give it enough cyclic click for cyclic uh input. For example, this will make it do a back flip, front flip, left roll and right roll. And it will do it um automatically where you know it'll basically do a full rotation and goes back to a stable position. Now, of course, this is maybe not something that advanced pilot will like. They probably would like to have a more control over the 3D maneuvers, but uh, I think this is very good for beginners to get a feel for uh, having the, the quadcopter do a rotation and basically you have to keep oriented and uh, then you need to regain control and orientation after it does its flip. So it's definitely a good stepping stone into a fully fledged 3D quad. Um, now about the quad itself. Um, there's something about this guy that I noticed as soon as I opened the box and I was really really impressed and it's those booms. They're huge. They're massive. Let me give you a comparison here. I'm going to show you a boom from a Walkera Ladybird. This is a boom from a Walker or Lady Bird. Let's put it next to this one. Check out the size difference. This is tiny, tiny, and it's carbon fiber. And these ones here, 
They're huge. Let's check, check the size difference. And not only that, not only they're huge, but they're made of aluminum. So they're essentially unbreakable. They will not break. They won't even bend. They are way, way, way too strong for the weight of this, this little aircraft. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is one thing that I find is really cool about this quad is you will not have to replace booms on it. Never, ever. You could literally fly this thing 100 feet in the air, turn the transmitter off, watch it fall to the ground. You may break some motor mounts, you may break some propellers, you may break the canopy, but you are not going to break these booms. Impossible. The second thing I thought was really cool is those little lights there, which are actually put on there quite nice. Uh, it's got this little mount on there, and look what you see right here. Let me show you right here. Those are LED lights. There's four LED lights, one on each um, boom. And then so this means that you can have better orientation during the day with it if you fly far from yourself. And then you can also um, uh, fly it at night. I've, uh, I've actually just tried it outside now for a night flight and it's, um, it, it's not super bright but it's definitely bright enough to see where the, where the, the, the aircraft is. So basically this comes ready to fly in the day and fly at night and I think it's pretty darn cool. As far as uh, the propellers and everything else, it's quite standard for the quads this size. Um, got the yellow ones at the back black ones at the front and there's another cool feature on this is these little right here at the bottom of the motors you got these little rubber bumpers they're rubber and this is going to basically call uh, you know help your motors last longer in case you, you do hard landings because it's going to protect your motors so each each of the motor mounts has a little rubber rubber bouncers on them or you know shock absorbers or whatnot so this is again a very nice feature on this quadcopter. Uh, between the lights, the very huge mounts, and the little rubber bumpers, uh, those are three improvements over the more, I guess, popular uh, QR Ladybird by Walkera. Uh, because it doesn't have the lights, it doesn't have the absorbers, the rubber absorbers, and it's got these tiny little weak little booms that do break quite easily actually. Um, so this is, seems to me like it's pretty much unbreakable. Now this thing is uh, stock now. I have not changed anything to it. The only thing I did is put my own connectors on there for the battery because that's what all my batteries use is these little micro deans connector. Now usually this will come with these style connectors here which is a more common connector for small aircraft like this. Uh, what came in the box? In the box, uh, there was a transmitter, of course, the aircraft, the little B. I call it a B, it's a B. And then there's a USB charger, one battery, which is 300 mAh uh, battery, 3.7 volts. And then it comes with uh, a spare set of propellers, four spare propellers. So, that, you know, I think that's that's about what I can say about this guy right now. Seems very, very tough, very sturdy. Awesome, awesome, really, really big booms on uh, on the arms, for the arms. And shock absorbers, LED lights, a decent radio with real gimbals on the sticks. I mean, uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> I forgot to mention one of the most important things. This thing is twenty nine dollars. You know, I can't believe what you get for it for twenty nine dollars. It's, I mean, thirty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, it doesn't quite sound right. It seems like you're getting such a nice product for for the money with this. It's unbelievable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show a short indoor flight, and then if you uh, keep an eye on my videos, I will show some outdoor flights and three D flips and rolls as well uh, in the next day or so. All right, let's have a look how this flies for us today. Oh, I should mention, actually, let me just put the camera down here. So let me move the box. Let me move the box away. Let me put this down here like this. Okay. Now let me turn on the radio. And connect the quad. Like such.
uh, you're going to find it a little bit odd. Um, as you can see now, the radio is not bound. I can give it some throttle. There's nothing. So it seems like all right, this is not binding. The radio is not binding to the quadcopter. That's because there's a maybe it's a safety feature on this. When you plug it, it will not bind. What you have to do is go full throttle, go back to low throttle. You'll hear a beep, and you'll see a little light flashing there. All right, and then you go full throttle a second time, come back, and then the light here will go full red now. So I did full throttle, no throttle two times, and there you go. Now I'm bound. So this is something that's probably good to know uh, because some people may think, why, why is this not binding for me? Well, this is how you bind it. Uh, you go full throttle, back to minimum throttle twice, and then it will bind. And when it's bound, the little red light on the transmitter here will be on. All right. So I think it's actually a nice little safety feature. It won't bind for you like a... And it, I think it's what it's doing is it's uh, it's finding the throttle range on the radio, and then once it's got the throttle range calibrated, basically, then it's, it's good to fly. So let's have a look. I'm not going to show a very long flight, maybe a minute or two. I'll spend more time showing you some flying of it outdoor shortly. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover it and trim it which doesn't need much trim frankly and this is it no hands check out the stability on this little guy twenty nine dollars I can't believe it And it's quite fast and it's agile. And as you can see, the lights work. It does help you. You've got white lights at the front and you've got blue and red blinking at the back. And this is, uh, should almost turn the lights off down here to show you how it flies at night. Uh, it does work. Whoop. See how stable this is? Alright, that'll be about it for today's demonstration. As I said, I'll show you some more flying of it outdoor in the next day or so. Um, and show you how this flies uh, doing 3D moves. And... Um, basically going a little bit faster outside and see if I can do a decent landing here there we go this is it this is called the mini pet mini pet 
six axis from my, my rcmart.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll put in a few, like I said, I'll show some outdoor flying with it soon. Alright, thank you. Bye. Thank you.